we were almost ready to, to hit the, the hit construction hard when this fire hit. And so it, it did sort of kick us in the pants, if you will. And we, we've had to recalibrate how we go forward. Uh, it's been a really great team to work with from, from the, the, the city to the, con, the contractor. Everyone's been on board to, to really come up with a, intelligent ways to rebuild from the fire. The city has always been 100% about restoring the Babcock Building. The Babcock Building uh, was built in 12 different sections. It is historic. Uh, it is an iconic building for the city of Columbia and the cupola that was on top of the uh, center portion of this building uh, is an iconic cupola for the city of Columbia. It will be the second most popular dome in the city of Columbia when it's restored. Here we are, we have an opportunity to, to really attract and leverage different opportunities to make this really work because this, this was a monumental project. It was going to take a lot of different aspects really to make it go forward so being able to work with the state and other people to make sure the credits come in to allow these guys to to make the investment is exciting and now that we see the construction and yeah the fire had a little delay but i think the fire may have actually helped them be more creative it's hard to look at it today you might look at it and say gosh it doesn't look like a lot's been done but there were trees growing out of the cornices those are gone you know and it, and the amount of work that we have to do to this building because of the shape that it was in, just to get it back to a, a, a place where we can build from. So we had a lot of remedial work to do, and that work is about half done. Well, it's amazing what this team has done, and really in the grand scheme of things, uh, short order since the devastating fire that occurred here last year, so I really feel um, amazed and thankful that we're reaching this point. Um, I know that for the community at large, everyone is yearning and anxious for activity out here on Gold Street, and this is a real testament that it is happening, that it will continue to happen, and uh, we have a, the, some great partners um, that have you know, dedicated themselves to doing it right, even with such a historic property like the Babcock Building. Uh, this building is historic. Uh, it was started in 1858. Uh, it, it was one of a kind building built for the mental health people. South Carolina was one of the first states to accept the responsibility for treating the mental health and the Mills building behind us over here was actually started in 1821. This makes it the bicentennial year for mental health treatment in South Carolina and the, the restoration of the Babcock building, which is uh, an innovative building in its time, will be a great addition not only to the city of Columbia, but to the Bull Street property. I love it. This building, this building was designed to have this bucolic feeling about it. These wonder the trees, the landscaping, the, the, the intricacies of the architecture were all about making a good place to be and so the fact that we're rebuilding that and making that usable again today I think that's fantastic. It's so neat to be able to, to imagine um, even better now because of the work that's ongoing and to actually be able to get in there and see um, the vision for these one two three bedroom units um, that the developers describe as um, will be charming, have that historic nature. So for uh, individuals in the near, very near future, as, as early as next year, to be able to take part and help us activate Bull Street, make sure that it is um, a, a live, work, play um, area that it was always designed to be. Um, I think it's so exciting to imagine the actual families on the property and enjoying it and living here. This will be a, a really game changer for the district. And you know, the original plan for this had been to have some more residential. So I think the key that the residential is coming first is really gonna help with the commercial and the restaurant side. The Bull Street District is really taking off now. We've had two national brands already open up, REI and Starbucks. We have a, uh, another brewery opening up uh, next to the uh, Starbucks. That's gonna be great. We have the, the West Lawn Building, which is a wood mass building. It's gonna be the largest wood mass building in South Carolina, uh, opening up right near the, the Starbucks. Uh, Merle's Garden is open. We've had 
uh, the SoCo building. We've had the first base building already open up. We're also about to, um, we, it's ready now and people are already using it, but we're going to have the official naming and ribbon cutting for our new park, the city park that is out here, at the daylighting of the stream that's occurred. So, you know, certainly exciting for people who will live on Dual Street, but also just anyone in the city of Columbia to come and partake in the amenities that will be here.